Gold XP online tutorial. Topic 2. Bank account setup and miscellaneous. Requirements? Bank account information and commission structures. After the chart of accounts are set up, the bank accounts can be created in Pro Gold to continue establishing the financial base. During this topic, all of your bank accounts will be established and then many bank account and chart of account defaults will be set in Pro Gold. This will help to make the processing of transactions as easy as possible later on. The commission plans will also be set up in preparation of entering your agents into Pro Gold. Main Operating Checkbook The first account to create is your main operating account because Pro Gold will make that account the default. In order to set up bank accounts in Pro Gold, you will need the account numbers in front of you. Go to the Banking tab and click on Bank Accounts. The fields in red, bank account number, type, bank name, and GL account number all need to be filled in for the account to be saved. First, enter in the bank account number and then select the type of account as general checking. The bank account name allows you to distinguish one account from another. If you add new accounts in the future, you can always come back to the screen and edit the name of the account. However, the bank account number cannot be changed on an existing account. The last red field to be filled out is the default GL cash account number. Each bank account will have its own GL cash account assigned to it. If you're selecting a different account than what is there, a warning message will appear. Click Yes. As long as there are no GL entries for this account, you can select a different GL. But if you do that after entries are made, things may become out of balance. The other fields in the screen are optional for keeping track of your account information. At the bottom of the screen, you will also see an area for viewing the account balance. There is a process that we will cover in another topic to establish the balances for your accounts. Once the balances are in, you will see them here. Once you have finished entering in the information for this account, you can click New at the bottom of the screen to create the escrow account or click Done to take you back to the main menu. Escrow Checkbook This account is set up in the same manner as the operating account. Again, make sure you have the bank account number in front of you before creating the escrow account and then enter the account number, set the type of account to escrow, enter an account name, and select the proper GL account. Remember, each bank account will have a separate GL account assigned to it. In other topics, we will talk about setting up your accounts as default for different functions. For example, setting the escrow checking as the default account for processing escrow, or the general checking as the default for cutting commission checks. When all of the accounts are entered, click the Done button to return to the banking menu. Database Default Settings the chart of accounts needs to be completed before going through this topic. Here we will set a lot of the GL accounts as defaults. In the Setup tab, click on Change Company Info. The first part of the screen shows your company contact information. Verify that the information is correct, and if there is an error, contact Taro Systems to update the information. Enter the company's federal tax ID in the appropriate field. The brand field should already be set and needs to be left alone. Do not make any changes to this field. This will be set by Taro Systems when needed for franchise reporting. In the middle of the screen are settings for default bank account, which should be set to your operating account, and company check recipient should have the company vendor record selected from the drop-down. If the company record is not in the list, then the vendor record needs to be created for the company in the Payables tab under Work with Vendors. No specific property should already be set to no specific property. This will be used in the Contacts area if a contact is not inquiring on a particular property. The Remit Payment text allows you to customize a message that will appear at the top of the agent invoices. The next tab across the top is Default 1. In the bottom left corner is ARAP defaults. Make sure those fields are pointing to the correct accounts. Right above those are the credit memo accounts. 
the customer credit memo account should be set to accounts receivable and vendor credit memo account set to accounts payable. On the right hand side of the screen is a place for sales tax. You can delete the entry that is in there by clicking the red X next to it. If you do have to collect sales tax, you can set your amount up. Otherwise, ignore that field. Below that is a GL post date. Use transaction date should be selected and the track undeposited checks box should also be checked. At the top of the right hand side is type of payment. This is where you can set the due days defaults and add to the list of payment terms for the payables and receivables area. This will be discussed further in later topics.